for as long as it sums up to 1, it will compute, you can compute this vector rho by performing this multiplication. How many times do we have to do it? Well, this number n, so that uh, rho equals uh, approximately uh, rho times g to the same number uh, m, this number m, unfortunately, depends on alpha. So, <clears throat> if the probability to do the random jump is 15%, which means probability to do the link following is 85%, then it takes between 50 to 100 iterations to compute this value. So you will have between 50 to 100 multiplications of a vector times matrix. If you uh, increase alpha and say make it uh, 90%, uh, instead of 100, it goes up to something like 300. So now you have to strike a balance, right? Because this random surfing has to reveal the link structure of the web. If you uh, if probability is 50-50, 50% uh, you jump randomly, 50% you follow link, your trajectories will be just mostly random jumps. So the rank will not reflect anything about the, the, the link structure. With 15%, as we will see next time, the average path before we jump uh, is of length 6. So we have to wonder, is following links just 6 times uh, enough to separate important pages from unimportant pages? Uh, and luckily for Google, 6 is exactly the right number. Now, why is that? There is a sheer magic uh, on in randomly generated networks. For example, believe or not, between you and Donald Trump, there are only five people so that you know the first person, first person knows the second person, second person knows third person, and the fifth person knows Donald Trump. This is degree of separation six, uh, it's famous. So it turns out that because the link structure is so rich, in fact, a small number of jumps, of only five or six jumps, is enough to reveal the structure of the web. So next time we will do more. Please read the notes. Look, Google is just bread and butter today, and it's crucial to understand the probabilistic analysis of Google for your future jobs. Trust me. <laughs>